Today I'm at the National Museum of Wales. I used to love coming here to see the archaeological collection. And there we go. Look at that stone. This foundation stone was laid by His Majesty King George V on the 26th day of June 1912. And look at the this wonderful entranceway here. And then we've got another stone. We've had a war in between. This National Museum was opened by His Majesty King George V on the 21st day of April 1927. And the, this doorway itself sort of um, emulates some of the sort of ancient Roman doorways back in Rome itself. So you used to come in here um, and there used to be, as you used to come in through the door, there used to be a reception on your left over by there. And and the one thing I used to head for was along here. I used to love heading towards the archaeological section. Unfortunately, all that's now gone. And the reason why I'm doing this video is to just basically talk about the plight of our heritage and archaeology um, in that the archaeology collection is mainly now in boxes. If you, if you come here a decade ago, you could see medieval, Roman, prehistory, all of that. And most of the archaeology collection is actually on display at the National Museum at St. Fagans, a display that you can actually see here. Um, my name is actually on one of the display cabinets, um, well, behind actually on the wall, but this is a geological find, dinosaur footprints. Um, but archaeologically wise, there's very little on display. Most of it is in now in boxes, and I don't know why that is. Anyway, this is Carl James Langford Report at National Museum of Wales in Cardiff on the 27th of this wonderful month of June, a few days before. Sign up and you can't film in here.